Pleased to be joined once again by Vishal Kapoor, president of the Oakville, Milton, and District Real Estate Board. And Vishal, I'm going to get right into it here. You and I chatted six months ago or so. The market was booming. People couldn't get houses. Bidding wars were all over the place. Certainly a different scenario now. What has happened, my friend? Well, uh, Jason, from the end of the spring heading into the summer, uh, we saw encouraging trends emerging that indicated a better balance in the market, uh, which has been much needed, um, as we all agree. This includes an increase of available supply on the market and the current all too skyrocketing prices. While supply will continue to remain a challenge moving forward, uh, September having another significant monthly increase in available inventory of all home types across Oakville and Milton, uh, which is a good sign and uh, means more choices for buyers. So, Vishal, I think a lot of people get caught up in the headlines in continually seeing uh, housing prices falling month after month. But if we look back to one year ago, housing prices are still a little bit higher than they were one year ago. We just happened to see a big hill in the middle, correct? Uh, you absolutely right. The end of 2021 capped off a year that we saw record lows of available properties for sale in both the single family home and townhouse condo segments. Uh, robust buyer demand and inventory shortages remain heading into 2022. Uh, while like this is true, average price at this moment nearly at par compared to September 2021. Great news for consumer up 2.7% in single family and 1.1% in townhome condos. Days on market up 160% year over year for detached. Uh, looking to that, whenever this interest rate uh, thing is happening, people haven't seen that kind of interest rate change from last 10, 15 years, right? Um, so it's holding off, but this is also the time like, you know, people can go and buy uh, because they have more options. But because the interest rate is changing, at the same time, the price is getting down, the affordability is going down. So now the issue is about, still, the issue is about affordability. And there's still talk, actually, there was a study out this morning about the GTA being one of the most overpriced real estate markets in the world. And I mean, you know, the GTA still includes your Oakville and your Milton as well, because we are sitting right beside Toronto. Still that you always, oh, the bubble is going to pop. Um, is there any merit to saying the bubble is going to pop? I don't believe so that bubble is going to pop. Uh, the reason behind that's like a certain fact, you have to look into that. Uh, one, the biggest advantage we have in our country is the immigration coming to us, right? So, and it was on hold. Like now, uh, they're saying like uh, this year itself, like in the next three months, uh, they're trying to bring, I heard in the news, if I'm not wrong, uh, like something between 100 to 200,000 people. So that's a backlog which is coming in people going to need housing. So that's one factor. The other thing is like, you know, people now working from home. Before they can live in the like, smaller apartments and everything, and more people choose to work from home now. Uh, so housing demand is still going to be there. We've seen housing prices for buyers come down over the last few months, but it is the complete opposite trajectory for rentals people have to live somewhere right so rental market right now uh last time i was looking to like 24 percent to 25 percent up mm. right which is huge right so cost of living gone up uh, for people you know we're paying more for gas prices more for grocery more for travel everything and now uh, you know partially people started going to work as well so that's adding up so that's why i was mentioned in the biggest issue uh, is affordability and that's what we're advocating for. Uh, and I think like in the, right now, the municipal elections and everything, everybody is talking about affordability. Uh, and still there remain the same uh, issue about the supply. If we haven't started doing, you know, uh, more uh, planning and more infrastructure uh, for future, we're going to have like, the same problem. We're still going to have the same problem. It's not going to go away anywhere. 
Well, Michelle, I appreciate you taking time out this morning, giving us the update uh, on the purchases, on the rentals, all of the real estate market. Look forward to, let's see, you know what? Three, four months, let's do it again and see where we are in this crazy roller coaster ride. Sound good? I love to do that. Thank you so much, Jason.